I still don't really have the urge to do anything, but I feel like I should just, I, I have the, I wanna be seen. I want somebody to tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> I do. part two of my food from yesterday so i still had a chicken thigh left you can see the mushrooms and peppers uh this is new broccoli that i just mixed in and then there's some shirataki noodles in there so i made another meal out of yesterday's i'm really over. struggling to get back on track as far as diet and exercise i tell you it takes me so long to develop a routine like i'm well past that whole 21 day mark for a routine i am like three months <laughs> Oh, but it's so easy for me to break my habits like one week vacation and I'm already well off the wagon I still want the damn tuna and crispy rice like I want it so bad um, I'm getting ready to go out and run my errands so I am intentionally eating some food now so that I'm not wandering the streets hungry uh, didn't make it to gym or to the church it was 11 o'clock when I was getting in the shower and church starts at 11. So uh, another, oh God, look at my nails. So I'm having a hard time also not being able to afford my my beauty maintenance practices, getting my nails done, getting waxed, um, getting my facials. This, is, this really sucks. This really sucks. I have all kinds of nail equipment I'm going to show y'all. I have a whole wax kit. I even have one of those... Um, at home laser hair removal things i bought all this stuff during the pandemic i literally just got this stuff over from my grandma's house it's just been sitting there for two years never used any of it um so i'm going to start i need to build maintenance time into my schedule the same way i schedule my work days like i need to start scheduling my life and that's so contrary to who i am as a person like i believe that watches are oppressive telling time keeping time is oppressive to me i wear my apple watch strictly to track my calories not because i care what time it is uh <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i gotta get back on track i got to got to take care of me i was just came from outside so i'm still battling with that iguana that's up in my attic um my trapper came by he said that it was just getting ready to go into the trap and he turned the corner and it heard him and ran back into the roof i'm like ah! so we were outside commiserating about it for a little while because he said that this is my house my two iguanas have been the hardest that he's ever had to deal with he said normally it just takes a few days we've been battling these iguanas for months it's been two whole months we finally got one two weeks ago well no last week just one week and the other one is still in there just being an asshole i'm cussing a lot because i'm mad um, so I'm going to eat this little food. I'm going to run my errands. My errands is just returning that stuff to Shein. Yes, I'm going to send it back, except for the stuff that I wore, of course, the, the dress um, and the jumpsuit. But everything else I ordered is going back. And um, and then I have some stuff that I can return to Amazon that I haven't used to, including a book. I'll, I'll show you the book. Um, it's a coffee table book that just came out with like Kitsch Hotels. I'm going to look at it first. If it's not shrink wrapped, I'm going to look at it and... um decide whether or not to keep it i probably send it back because i mean that's 30 dollars that i i could really use but i probably spend that 30 dollars on some bs anyway so maybe i'll keep my book Either way, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at it i'm gonna look at it first and then after i run those two errands it's like almost noon now so the sun is right overhead it's not cold anymore um but around like two or three o'clock i'll take the dog out for a nice um a nice long walk i want to ride my bike for a little while i bought a dog backpack i'm gonna see I'm, I'm not as confident on my bike to have my dog on my back like that because I feel like if I fall off, then I don't want to hurt him. That's my baby. Um, but he's getting old now. He can't walk as long and as far as we used to. Uh, so we'll see. We're all going to take a long walk, but the logistics of that walk, I don't know how I'm going to work it out. So that's the plan for today. Um, and I am going to read through that article. I, I have to do that today. I'm going to put that on my calendar too. So yeah, let's eat some food. Do you ever stop and think about how stupid songs are sometimes? Like, I don't know why this is popping in my head, but the car is to Big Papa. You got a gun up in your waist. Please don't shoot up the place. Why? Because I see some ladies tonight who should be having my baby. Don't shoot up the club because I want to impregnate people. Like, that's the chorus of the song. And we love this song, like, worldwide. I love it when you call me Big Papa. You got a gun up in your waist. Please don't shoot up the place because I see some ladies tonight who should be having my baby. What is that? All right, y'all. You were saying asynchronously why I'm constantly running late because I need to, it's 1.30. 
I need to get to the UPS store by three o'clock in order to send this package off. But I'm in here snipping all these single strand knots off of my hair. Because they're just getting on my nerves. That piece feels all right. So this is not a thorough job, but it'll do. I'm just feeling where it feels rough. There's this little hair trimmer thing that I really want to buy off of Amazon, but I read the reviews and the natural girlies are saying that it's not good. It doesn't, um, it only pulls split ends. It doesn't pull your single strand knots. And I know it's time for a real haircut because my head is covered in them. See, the, oh gosh, this whole piece feels rough. Hold on, let me separate this a little bit. You hear how it's scratching? I don't know if my ASMR is coming up on my little cell phone. I'm gonna cut a lot off of this one. Oh, that's a lot of hair. That's like an inch. It's not focusing, but yeah, this piece is covered in knots and in lint. Coming around the back, coming around the mouth. It's worse in the back. I think it's, I mostly sleep on my back. But yeah, this piece got a lot of knots. I thought it would be worse in the front because I pull on the front so much. see one knot here the one thing with my hair being it's my hair is not long but it's long enough to pull it around so that I can see the ends gosh that feels better already it's another long piece If y'all notice, I keep pulling my hair around this way because this eye is better than this one. <laughs> so looking this way is much more difficult than looking from this way. I thought my hair would be worse on this right side because I, I sleep either on my back or on this side, which is also the side that I break out on for on the most part on my face. Golly, these ends are raggedy. But yeah, so this is why I run late. I, I have other stuff to do, but I just get so fixated on little menial tasks. tasks. Whatever, I'm going to cut this off anyway. I didn't really only felt one little knot there, but I couldn't separate it out. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. My little short spot up here in the top. I don't feel that. I did this one already. I 
All right, I think that's it for now. So it didn't cut off that much. It's probably less than I pull out in shed hair. <laughs> oh, y'all, can you see this? You probably can't see this. There's like three gray hairs back here. And I'm very upset about it. I'm accustomed to being gray up front, but finding the grays in the back and the nape. Oof. Eh. All right, I'm gonna slap a wig on. So here's the book, Hotel Kitsch. Pretty cool tour of America's fantasy getaways. Now here's why I'm considering send it back, sending it back A, just because, I mean, I don't really need it. I love ho uh, coffee table books, if y'all didn't know. One of my more recent acquisitions is the Accidentally Wes Anderson book, uh, which I love. I love Wes Anderson. Although I have really been struggling to get through um, Asteroid City. I've started and not finished that movie so many times. Um, probably because I don't really care for Scarlett Johansson, even though I love Vicky Christina Barcelona. But her character is the one that I like the least. Um, so I'm confused though. I can't tell if this is a first edition or not. I mean, it says first printing October 2023. I was on a wait list to get this book, but the two being out of sequence makes me think this is the second printing instead of the first printing. Um, so I don't know. I might not return it today. I might hold on to it for a little while, but I'm not sure what edition this is. But yeah, so we have all these hotels in here. I hope these places are open because these are kind of places that I would like to to go. I love um, mid-century modern and like kitsch and, and weird stuff. But these are kind of places like I want to go to with a boyfriend. I have amazing friends, amazing girlfriends and amazing male friends too. But like stuff like this, staying in hotels and road trips and whatnot i want to be laid up with a man i do and i'm not ashamed to admit it so yeah we're gonna we're gonna keep this book for now but if times get rough oh that's in key largo hey see i like discovering places in florida that i need to check out um on that last vlog where i put the little clip show in that was key largo where i was i think i said i was in key largo I don't know if I told y'all, but yeah, that's where it was. I drove down there. I'm, I'm about an hour and a half away from Key Largo. Two hours down from the actual keys. We'll keep this book. All right, we are in the car. And I say we, I mean we. I got my buddy rolling shotgun. Um, So I have this box for Shein that I'm taking to the UPS store right now. Um, I haven't taped it up though, cause I don't know, this is my first time using the QR code return. So I don't know if they print a packing slip or if they just tape it up and slap a label on it. I don't know what the deal is. So I brought my tape with me because I know at the post office, sometimes they be acting funny about taping boxes for you. Like they wanna charge you for a roll of tape just to tape your box. So anyway, I have my own tape just in case. I'm gonna drop this off, see what happens. And then we're going to Whole Foods um whenever i'm going to whole foods with the exception of if i'm just coming or going from the gym if i'm if i'm um in regular regular mode i always try to put a little effort like not a full-blown beat but an, a little effort into how i look because i have this fantasy of um having a meet cute with somebody at whole foods i don't know i've been hanging on to it for a long time i even started writing a little fiction story with the meet cute at, at whole foods so <laughs> we'll see if it actually happens one day there's there's a man out there for me I'm gonna meet him cute I don't really foresee I, I feel like I've got a, a love story like for my real life brewing somewhere but I think it's gonna be somebody new because I just can't imagine striking up a relationship with anybody that I actually know or currently know or have dated in the past I don't want nobody I used to deal with back again I'm not going backwards I'm only going forwards one stop down one more to go we are done with the have to do's Oh, no eyes are dirty. Actually, I'm coming to bag at him. That's another have to do. Now on to the should do's. Do you want a bath? Nope. I know he don't want a bath. He can barely hear. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, dog? My poor old dog. All right, I think I might drive down the beach um, before going home because I still don't really have the urge to do anything 
but I feel like I should just, I, I have the, I want to be seen. I want somebody to tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> I do. Um, I ain't got nothing to talk about though. I need a catchphrase. I watch Erica De Niro's channel. Um, and she has made a whole thing out of nothing to talk about. She calls them NTTA. Uh, I really like her channel. Now, I'm there's a lot of the people who I watch consistently are not Christian, and like the way they talk about Christianity bothers me. Even though I can still separate that from the person, um, but I don't know. I mean, I know Christianity is not perfect nothing out there is i am i can i would probably venture to say that i'm an a la carte christian <laughs> i pick the stuff i like i leave the stuff i don't like and i guess that's probably not how you're supposed to do it but that works for me and so that's what i'm gonna keep on doing i'm gonna keep doing what serves me um my summer tan is kind of starting to break i'm still darker than i am during the winter months but this is the true the true red bone not light skin red bone, actual red red bone. <laughs> uh, all right, my change. Let me go. So in Whole Foods, I didn't venture through the store. I just went to the Amazon return. Let me put these windows up. Um, oh my sunroof is still open. You see my the mesh has broken off. They told me they just can't glue it back together. They have to redo my whole sunroof, which would be eight hundred dollars. I need to get some glue and take and glue that thing down myself. And I got the doggy in here, so he's making the seatbelt sensor go off. Y'all saw how I used to buckle in my backpack. I got to buckle that in because of the dog. So yeah, we're, we're gonna ride down the beach before we go home. Um, oh so yeah, so hopeful. So there were I saw about three guys who were really cute, but everybody was booed up. Even the men who wasn't cute was booed up. But that's no surprise when you see a man in a grocery store. He's usually not there by himself. Have y'all been seeing these little, I think, Rivani cars? R-I-V-I-A-N-I or A-N-I or something like that. I've been seeing them a lot lately. Like this little pickup truck. This ugly little truck. I think they look expensive even though they're ugly. I'm going to look that up. I don't know what that is. One of my neighbors has one too. I think it's an electric car. Not sure. Um, but I've been seeing them all over the place. I really don't have nothing to talk about. Sorry, Erica, I'm not still in your line. I need to come up with my own tagline. You know what else I need to do? I need to start getting better about asking y'all to subscribe to my channel. That's something that I don't do. I need to change my end card and start putting that into my videos. Like, I don't want to ask people to su subscribe, but I feel like I need to. I want to start a merch store. I'm working on some pretty awesome merch, but I can't connect it to my YouTube page until I get to 500 subscribers or like a million hours of view time or something like that and I only have about three I have three videos that get a lot of views consistently they are how-to videos of course um, one is about how I healed my hypertrophic scar which is my piercing scar it wasn't on this, was it this ear one of one of my ears um, I think it was this ear yeah um, that one is coming up on 4,000 views and then I have a, a video about the um, iWatch, not the Apple Watch, but a, a different like fitness oriented watch that I bought and I didn't like. That's I bought that before I got the Apple Watch. Um, that one has about 2,000 views or close to 2,000. And then my um, how to remove pollen from Lily's videos. That one is my oldest video and it has like I think it has over 20,000 views and people are still watching it to this day. Um, and then my Naomi Campbell and Rihanna coffee table book video has a few hundred, but those are, those are my most popular videos. 
but it's still not enough to get the amount of hours on my channel so that I can connect my merch store. So I can still promote my merch even though it's not connected to my actual channel, but I'd like to get it there. So 500 subscribers is what I need and the 107 I have, I'm so happy for y'all. Thank you for subscribing. Um, when I look at my analytics though, my subscribers don't really watch my videos. Most of my views come from foreign countries. So I don't know who we all are, but thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all and please subscribe subscribe help your girl out she needs some money she wants to sell some merch please and thank you it's gonna be pretty pretty and awesome i promise we driving down the beach my tent is starting to bubble that's not a grease stain or anything that's my tent bubbling up i need to redo my tents all the way around the car it's bubbling everywhere i've had this car for what year is this, this is 2023 got my car in 2016 so i've had my car for six years um and this tent the tent is is not not working my car is just very slowly getting raggedy from the um inside everything's great under the hood and knock on wood it stays that way because my budget ain't set up for a car payment not in the slightest um but you know everything can change with the drop of a hat i could get promoted you know they're making a lot of changes in my organization hopefully they will serve me <laughs> I'm praying they serve me, uh, but if not, I've got my irons in the fire. I keep my options open, always, always keep my options open. And I need more money. That's just it. I have told my supervisor and my supervisor, supervisor, and the supervisor, supervisor. So all the way up to the vice president of my department knows I need more money. I'm, I'm, I've made it quite plain, so they shouldn't be shocked if an opportunity that does pay comes my way and I leave because I've, I've said it. I need money. The economy has changed two years ago when I started the role I'm in now. I've been with my company for um, almost five years now, but the role I'm in now as director has been two years and I was really happy for that salary when I got it, but that money has not changed in two years and the economy has changed. It's not enough. It's not, it's not, I need more. Um, so yeah, what was, why did I start talking about that? Oh, <laughs> I'm talking about my car falling apart. Yeah, it's just getting real ratty tatty um, on the inside. It still looks pretty good on the outside, although it is about time for a paint job because I've got this weird like patina situation happening on my bonnet. I have a Mini Cooper, so the hood is called the bonnet. And um, even at the car dealership, the, the service center, because I still take it to the, the mini service center to get service they don't know what they say they've never seen it before um another friend of mine has a professional detailing service he actually does celebrities cars i'm not going to tell you who but um quite a few miami celebrities mostly athletes and, and uh rappers and stuff uh but he's, he's too far down for me to get my car done by him regularly he, every once in a while i'll go to him if i'm in the area but i'm not making a trip down there just to get my car cleaned um, but even he says he doesn't know what that is either and I've had it waxed, I've had it everything and it just keeps getting worse. So I think I just need to get a paint job, a paint job, get my tent redone and get my, um, my lights cleaned out. They're starting to turn kind of yellow and it'll look like a brand new car on the outside, not the inside though. The inside needs a lot of work. And I feel like if my money was right, I would trade this car in for a new one just because the, the value is decreasing i mean the values of cars decrease as soon as you drive them off the lot but the fact that it's starting to get kind of raggedy on the inside is why i would trade it in if i could um now see the beach from this angle that i have the camera and i've been so busy looking at the road i haven't been looking at the people i normally let the windows down bit but then y'all won't be able to hear me so maybe we'll just b-roll it for the rest of this time let's open it back up that is a beautiful day i broke the stem off my sunglasses i don't know how i did that hopefully it'll stay on out i jammed it in my hair all right let's ride let's ride
tank of gas that I got needs to last me. One thing my mom always taught me, the glasses are crooked because <laughs> the stem's broken. My mom always said, when you have money, put gas in your car. Um, and I listened to her. So I only got a few coins to rub together for the next week. But um, I did fill my car up. Although I do need to go to work three out of the five days next week so that's mileage that i have gotten unaccustomed to my company is like slowly but surely trying to send us back to the office and we are fighting against it but i don't know how long we're gonna be able to hold out because they will change your traffic pattern on you in a minute around here um, but I know that this part of Las Olas that I'm on turns into one-way traffic or one lane traffic um, so all these cars were barreling down the right lane not knowing that it was gonna be a right turn only and then they get mad because they got jammed up bro you know, I don't know whose fault it is but it's not the person you honking at So the story I'm currently working on, because I'm, I'm working on four novels at once, <laughs> but the most recent one that I started um, is the, the main character works on Los Olas. I'm not gonna tell you where though, that's a surprise. So God willing, I actually finish one story so that I can, um, so that I can actually get my literary agent to take me seriously. The girl is working on a lot of stuff. You know, that's one thing. States and Liberty Athletic. I've never even heard of that place. There's a lot of new stuff around here. I might need to come through Las Olas on foot one day because a lot is changing. Um, last time I was walking around out here was the Food and Wine Festival. I got a video of that from, I think it was last year. Lord, I, what is wrong with me? I've been changing subject like every few sentences. Ugh, my ADHD is cutting up. I was talking about my, my book, my literary agent. Um, this place over here, can y'all see that? Can y'all see? P oh, my thing's in the way. It's called Pizza, Pizza Italia. It used to be called Mangoes. That used to be the spot that my friends and I would go to back when I was in high school and like my early college years, where we felt like we were grown. That was like the old people um, little jazz spot. And we would go in there trying to be sophisticated. They used to make a really good chicken pot pie too. And um and a lobster bisque. That oh I used to love that stuff. Um 
what was I talking about? My books. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I need to finish one. But every time I get started and I sit down to write, I have a new idea. So, oh, here's, that's what I was talking about. Okay, yeah. So, one of my friends, shout out to Lavanya. Um, whenever I kind of start complaining about money, she's like, you got all the money you need in your head. You need to finish writing your books. Because I've, I've, I've read off my book concept to a couple of, of my friends. Uh, and everyone who I've, I've told it to have said unbiasedly. I mean, they're biased because they love me. But they said, you know, just taking you out of the equation, these are really good story concepts. Um, the problem I have, I could just fire out just a little generic little story. But I really want it to be well written. Like, I, my books are smut. Absolute smut. All the sex I'm not having, I'm writing about <laughs> in these books. Um, but I want it to be really high quality, well-written smut. Like I want people to be reading this book like, dang, this is so well-written. This is like freaking, I mean, not Chaucer or, or <laughs> Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, but like I want my shit to be studied, not just because it's salacious and because it's a good story, but because it's really well-written. That is my goal. And that's not easy. Yeah, we did, uh, we did, the drive was pretty good, but as we get towards where most of the uh, restaurants are, like closer to the downtown area, closer around. to downtown, I live on the other side of downtown, on the other side of the buildings, um, the traffic kind of picks up because there's more and more people walking around over here. I still stand by, we should be able to just flip this camera back and forth, that will make my life so much easier. Apple, are you listening? Big city I probably tab. frequent the most on Los Olas because um, I can walk here from my office and a lot of my co-workers co -workers love the lychee martini that they have here. I don't like lychee, but I do enjoy their Cobb salad. I like me a good Cobb salad. Oh, Lord, these glasses are killing me being tilted like this. <laughs> um, there used to be a cheese shop over here, too. I don't remember what it was called. Um, but they used to have this lavender honey that was so good on like a little honeycomb. You just smash the honeycomb on top of some crackers or something. It was so good. But you could get like a whole cheese plate for like 15 bucks with a little uh, champagne split. It's probably why they're not open. They were too cheap. <laughs> Rent over here uh, for these stores is not cheap. And ain't nothing for sale. Whoever owns it is not letting it go. You can rent it though for an astronomical amount of money. Gee. Givenchy, Givenchy, he can hear me a little bit because he gets to looking around like I know I hear something, but he can't figure out where it's coming from. Now, usually we're, we just passed the Cheesecake Factory. So from my house to the Cheesecake Factory is a mile. And so when uh, a couple years ago, like that's where G and I will walk to Cheesecake Factory. We would stop there. I gave him a little water break, let him rest, and then we walk home. But that's too much for him now. Um, the last time I took him on a long walk, we got up to Salt 7. And by the time I got to the bar, there was actually a really cute like group of guys there. And they brought me a cocktail, but nobody asked me for my number. But they were really, really nice. Um, so I'm waiting because we're we are gonna go for a walk later. But I'm like, should I keep this dress on, or should I put on some like sport clothing? I don't know. What's gonna get me more attention? But my goal when I go home is to um, read through the article. And then I'll go for a walk. It's, oh, I said around 3 o'clock, so it's 2.58 now. So about 4.30 should be good because the sun's starting to go back down. It's not as hot as it was earlier. Um, I'm almost home. So I'm going to put the phone down now and kind of make my game plan. So I just finished doing my reading uh, of the re recording, the reading of the economics of thinness. So I'm going to post that tomorrow um, I'm going to get ready now and take the dog on that walk that I've been promising him slash y'all slash myself that I would do because I need to move this body this weekend. So we're going to go like this, honestly, I'm going to put on some 
my Birkenstocks and just go for a walk. We're not going to do the long, long walk that I thought. We might go um, probably up to the wharf and then come back. I could buy it. That is my goal. I love my neighborhood, but I'm on the uh, the north end, whereas the south end is where the water is. So all these houses on this row are on the intercoastal. And I just want to move farther back, farther back through my neighborhood so I can get near the water. This dog is so happy. These rat traps all over the place down here at the marina. These rats are getting bad. And again, I live right by the marina, so just imagine. I haven't seen very many dogs out tonight. Probably. They're probably out earlier. It's starting to get dark earlier. I got my phone around my neck, as you can see. Hold on. Whew. All right, so we came out here for a little walk. Um, just over there. We didn't see a lot of dogs today, except for this little pumpkin. So, um, y'all, I was walking for several blocks with my dress tucked into my panties, and that's my second time doing that. I only noticed because I looked at my shadow and I could see that it was all bunched up in the back. <laughs> I don't know who saw my behind, but I was walking for a while before I noticed. So, yay for me. But anyway, we're going to end it right here with this little beautiful vista. Um... I ain't got nothing else to say except thank y'all for watching like and subscribe and comment and share and help me get to 500 please because the pretty awesome merch will be worth it i i think i mean i like it i think i have pretty good taste it's the season the christmas lights are going up around the city that's the performing arts center and um, so also the reindeer are up at the galleria and y'all know that that is the sign of the season for me um that makes me very happy. I love the reindeer. Um, oh, so I just had a nice looking man stop and talk to me. He did not holler. Now I'm I'm not of the camp that women hit on men, but he stopped, he talked to me, he pet the dog. Um, he gives me New York, like Italian vibes, either New York or Boston. I couldn't really detect his accent. Um, I even took my headphones out to show him that I was interested in talking to him. But he still said goodnight, sweetheart, and walked off. So we'll see. Maybe if I see him again, he'll say something. I don't know. Eh. I'm thinking something, but I'll keep it to myself.